Hello, my name is Erin and I'm going to walk you through how to use the Orbit app. The first feature we'll be looking at is the app settings menu, which you can find in the top left hand corner. It's these three horizontal lines just here. If you tap on that, it will bring up a screen which is split into three sections, user settings, phone alerts and help. User settings contains your email address and the ability to change your password. Phone alerts allows you to choose the sound, vibration, flashlight and ringtones to suit you. And if you need any help, just click on the manual in the help section to answer any questions you may have. The next feature is the in-app camera located in the top right hand corner of the Orbit app. With this, you can take selfies by pressing the button on your Orbit device. Just there. The next feature we'll be looking at is the map. The map shows you a general current location of all your Orbit devices. You can zoom in to see a more accurate location. If your Orbit device is out of range, it will show the last known location for you to go and to retrieve your belongings. The next feature we'll be looking at is the different icons you'll find in the Orbit app. Firstly, these two small upwards pointing arrows just above the first row of icons here, when you click on them, will show you all the Orbit devices you have connected to your Orbit app account. You can have up to six devices connected at any one time. Simply tap again on the two small arrows to retract this section. Next is the keys icon just here. The keys icon shows you signal strength. The further away your orbit devices, the lower the signal will be. Again, the higher the signal, the more accurate the location will be. The next icon we'll be looking at is the battery icon. This gives you an indication of how much battery your orbit device has left. When the battery gets too low, you will be notified to change or charge the battery of your orbit device. The next icon we'll be looking at is the three vertical dots right next to the battery icon. If you tap on this, it will bring up a screen featuring other options such as to name your orbit device, to turn on separation alarm, to turn on safe zone, to choose your ringtone and to delete your orbit. The separation alarm allows you to be notified every time you move more than 30 metres or 100 feet away from your orbit device so that you do not forget it or leave it behind. As you can see, it is currently turned off. To turn it on, simply tap the button next to the separation alarm, like so. As you can see, the separation alarm has now been turned on. To turn it off, simply tap once again on the button and click OK to the separation alarm, alerting you that it will be turned off. Next is Safe Zone. Safe Zone keeps both your Orbit device and your cell phone, iPad, or whichever device you are using with your Orbit app account on silent when they are within range of your home Wi-Fi network. The separation alarm will not be active if the Safe Zone is switched on. Again, as you can see, Safe Zone is currently turned off. To turn it on, tap the button next to Safe Zone, and to turn it off, simply tap it once more. Next, we'll be looking at the ringtones feature. If you tap on ringtones, it will bring up three options for you to choose from to set as the alert tone that will notify you or make your devices ring so you can find them. Lastly, the delete this orbit feature, as the name suggests, deletes your orbit simply by pressing the minus button and clicking OK. The next feature we'll be looking at is the Add a New Orbit feature. When you have more than one Orbit device connected, you will have to scroll down to the end of the list to where it says Add a New Orbit. Simply tap on the plus button and it will give you the option to choose which Orbit device you are trying to connect. Make sure that you click on the correct one for your devices to pair correctly. Then, follow the on-screen instructions to connect your device. Lastly, is the Find Orbit feature. When you press on this button, your device will beep 
allowing you to locate where you have left them. You can also make your phone ring by pressing the button on the side of your Orbit device, like this. You will have to press the button on the side of your Orbit device once more to make the ringing stop. We have now successfully looked at all the different features of the Orbit app. Happy orbiting!